Yes, this heritage of service has been the tradition of Burr Davis and Sons since it was founded in 1863. We have grown in that tradition, and our growth parallels out of Mount Vernon, this section of Westchester, and nearby Connecticut, whose families we are privileged to serve. In 1873, ten years after this firm was founded, fire swept Fourth Avenue. Only the heroic efforts of a bucket brigade composed of Mr. Burr Davis and his staff saved his own and adjacent frame buildings from destruction. From the ruins, Mount Vernon rebuilt, but this time of stone and steel instead of the flimsy wood frame construction of the past. There have been other well-remembered landmarks along the road of progress. Here, for instance, is a view of South 4th Avenue after the great blizzard of 1888. Surely a marked contrast with the same scene today. But the face of our town has been changed less by fire and storm than by the hand of man. Before the first street underpass was built, the 6th Avenue crossing looking west appeared this way, where now streamlined trains speed along far below the rebel of the old roadway. Here you see the construction of the underpass between 5th and 4th Avenues looking east in the year 1894. More than half a century later, the same scene looks this way. As the next photograph shows, by 1903, the establishment had expanded considerably. In that year, Mr. Burr Davis died, and the second generation carried on the heritage of service so faithfully that from this modest beginning, we have become the foremost establishment of its kind in the vicinity of New York. We are also the oldest business concern in Mount Vernon under the continuous management of one family, represented now by Mr. Burr Davis and Mr. Walter Davis of the third generation. Clients who enter through the 4th Avenue entrance are instantly impressed by the restrained good taste, the quiet dignity of the foyer, beyond which lies a building a full city square deep, with more than 17,000 square feet of floor space. So come and make a tour of inspection with us. At the head of the stairs, an inspiring painting of the famous church of Mont Saint-Michel in France never fails to evoke appreciative comment from war veterans who fought to liberate that country. And in another corner of the upper hall, which leads to the reposing rooms, there are paintings of calm pastoral scenes. First of the featured reposing rooms in line of importance is this, the Williamsburg Room, equipped for music and establishing the general pattern for all the rooms in its authenticity of style and atmosphere of quiet dignity. Here are exact reproductions of the furniture which graced the governor's palace, shown in this mural, in the pre-revolutionary days of Williamsburg, Virginia. Next to it, along the front of the building, is the Victorian room, where music is also available, and where again the restfulness of an old tradition has been faithfully preserved. The finest of reproductions, a soft blue carpet and rich dusty rose draperies, the walls papered in gray-blue relieved by a jonquil pattern, make the room truly homelike in a style many of us can remember from the days of our childhood. The theme of the colonial room is early Americana, a study in cheerfulness of color and simplicity of design. The walls of soft yellow patterned with cocoa-colored colonial figures, carpet of sculptured beige, the use of brass and copper lamps, all speak of the unhurried serenity of the days of the Pilgrim Fathers. In marked contrast is the Provincial Room, lovely and authentic reproductions of French provincial pieces like this period secretary containing exquisite porcelain figurines. All in a setting of restrained elegance which speaks of charm in tones of green and gray and rust. Truly different is the smoking lounge. This modern room needs comfort and relaxation, providing a welcome interlude every now and then so pretty and cheerful that one cannot help feeling refreshed after a brief period of rest. While the 4th Avenue entrance is primarily used by those on foot, this entrance on 3rd Avenue is really the service entrance. You will note that the Burr Davis name is both over the door and on the side of the driveway. Here is a view into our modern preparation room. 
preparation has made great advances over the years, as have all other phases of funeral service work, and for many decades, Burr Davis and Son has maintained an enviable reputation for excellent work along these lines. Today, the modern preparation room plays a vitally important part in obtaining the desired results. Our process is truly an operation, and obviously the place for an operation is a room equipped for these special services. Our large garage, right on the premises, is intended for your comfort and convenience, since clients can always drive right in from South Third Avenue and leave their cars where they will be protected. When the time comes to form a procession, the cars are assembled in their proper order under cover, where they are sheltered both from the weather and the eyes of a curious public. There are many times when privacy means so much to the family, and so we provide this private family entrance to the chapel, making it possible to drive in off the street and leave your car at this doorway, protected from the elements and passers-by. This is the private stairway leading from the family entrance to the memorial chapel. Throughout the ages, music has played an important part in the religious services of all faiths. From this organ alcove, separated only by damask draperies from the chapel, our organist provides whatever favorite selections are desired. Or, if no particular music is specified, you are assured of the proper selections for the occasion. Also adjoining the chapel is this 18th century family room, where privacy is the keynote. Before or after the service, you may receive your friends and relatives in proper seclusion. And from here, you may depart via the private family entrance to your car, always shielded from the public gaze. But most important, from here, through these glass curtains at the left, you may see and hear the service while yet remaining unseen from the chapel. In this place of solemn dignity, memorial services are conducted. Instead of movable chairs, fine oak pews lend an air of comfortable permanence, providing seating for 200 people. But all these things, the lovely chapel, private family room, modern preparation room, reposing rooms, garage, these are only the tangibles. Even more important is our heritage of service, and we of the third generation pledge the same fairness, sympathetic understanding, and perfection of service even to the smallest detail that was established by the founder and which has made the name Burr Davis and Son, Westchester's largest and most beautiful establishment, synonymous with distinctive funeral service.